It's a new year, a new you. Hopefully, one of your uh, resolutions is to maybe be a little healthier, maybe lose some weight. You know, your diet's a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. You can exercise all you want, but it's all about the fuel you put in. The birthday girl, Whitney, is in. It is my birthday to today. To show us how we can stay on track. And you've got yes. some stuff I can definitely get on board with. We are making a beef and Brussels sprout power bowl today. So the thought behind this recipe was if you are making New Year's resolutions to eat healthier, you have to do some kind of meal prepping yeah. to have healthy options ready. So so you have to have an item that can stand up to your refrigerator. So you have to be able to make it and then eat it, you know, three days later mm -hmm. with it still tasting as good. How do we do it? So how we do it is we use Brussels sprouts as our base. So okay. instead of using just regular salad greens or lettuce as our base, we are using shredded Brussels sprouts. So if you've never shredded a Brussels sprout, I'm just going to show I've, you very quickly. To see. So this is a Brussels sprout. Looks like a tiny head of cabbage. Mm -hmm. All you want to do is take off any outer leaves, um, you know, that look a little brown or wilted. And then what you're going to do is cut off this end right here. Careful now. Careful. That's a sharp knife. You got to use a sharp knife. You here. do. And then all you want to do is just slice it as thin as you can. You could use a mandolin for this, but honestly, I think it's easier just to slice it. Okay, good. You turn it there. That's important. I did. That because that was getting edge. pretty close. And then all you need to do is just kind of um, shred it with your fingers, and you don't need to cook this or anything, and that is going to be your base for this Power Bowl. Okay. Brussels sprouts, very hearty. They can stand up to your refrigerator. You can add your dressing when you prep this and leave it in the refrigerator, and it's still fine. So instead of lettuce, we're using Brussels yes. sprouts. Yes, so that is our base. And then to that, we are adding a lot of different flavors so you don't get bored. We are adding dried cranberries, pecans, apples, celery, blue cheese. If you don't like blue cheese, feel free to leave it off. And then for the protein, I went with steak on oh, this one. Yeah. And I went with steak for a reason. I think steak is better cold than chicken is cold. That's just a personal preference of mine. Yeah. So I went with steak so I could prep it and then eat it all week. Um, I'm very into a beef shoulder tender right now. I was going to ask you what yes. cut you want to use. Um, I think it's very forgiving in the winter. Not a lot of people are going to go out to their grills. Well, maybe today it's very nice out. But in general, <laughs> the shoulder tender can be um, made in the oven very easy compared okay. to a lot of steak. So I really really like it in the winter. Like I said, very forgiving. It's hard to mess that cut up. So I used a shoulder tender for my protein and then honey mustard for my dressing to kind of bring it all together. You could also use a vinaigrette yeah. if you like that better. Not too much, just enough to kind of give you a little flavor. Just a little bit, give you a little bit more fat to help you um, digest some and absorb some of those nutrients. Well, and steak's always a good choice at Fairway. The best meat counter you will find That's right. anywhere. I promise you that. Thank you very much. Thank Make you. sure you check in with the folks at Fairway if you want some more meal tips. If you want to stay healthy in this new year, they got you covered. Let's take you outside. We mentioned maybe getting away with grilling today. Uh, probably not going to happen as we head into the weekend. Brandon's going to bring us up to speed on, yeah, snow chances. Mm -hmm.